Hello, so this video is for Cancer. Cancer for February. So Cancer, the first things I hear is keep going forward. Keep going forward, Cancer. It seems that a lot of Cancerians um, were want, wanting to give up on something, wanting to walk away from something, or not sure exactly how to put something back together. So if this is you guys, um, Cancer for the month of February 2020, we're talking about, uh, you know, somebody who's pretty much taking their hands out of their pocket. Somebody who's finally deciding to, to make something happen instead of waiting for something to happen. It also feels like uh, there could be an opportunity for a lot of people to, I'm going to say, raise their eyebrows. Okay, when they say raise their eyebrows, it means there's a lot of opportunity here for a lot of people to create some new changes, make something happen, um, get things in the right direction because of the fact that, Cancerians, you have punished yourselves enough in a situation. It feels like um, something that happened... Uh, in the past, kind of like in a back alleyway kind of thing, but something that happened in the past definitely took you off guard. Something definitely made you feel um, almost like a victim because somebody uh, totally disrespected you. Somebody um, took your kindness for weakness or mis mistaken your kindness for weakness. They didn't realize exactly what was happening. But at the same time, they knew they were manipulating up and down, back and forth. I also get with the Ten of Pentacles that you are very much aware that somebody had a lot of options available to them. Somebody else was definitely uh, deciding to sort of cross their legs, so to speak. Somebody was definitely wanting to block someone off, keep somebody from coming towards you, um, not allowing somebody to steal all of your love in your heart. Somebody was definitely trying to feel as if they were the warrior here. I also feel like some of you felt like you were in chains, like you were chained to something. Some of you may have felt like you were going round and round in a circle. But also, when you knew you had to deal with these, um, this situation, with your partner, with many uh, options, that means your partner was definitely considering, definitely considering, um, unlocking, so to speak, their door, meaning allowing anybody to come through. I also got that a lot of you were dealing with this third party. Now, what's going on here? Now, this third party, yes, doesn't have to always mean a sexual partner, extra relationship, uh, like Becky with the good hair. Okay, none of that. But this is definitely talking about a group of people who hang out. Um, this could definitely be somebody at work. Um, Somebody who's trying to, like, make somebody more friends than ever or want to be more friendly than ever. Also, it feels like um, two people are trying to converse together or trying to come up with a plan. So this could be your partner who is trying to come up with a different kind of plan that doesn't include you, uh, but wants to come up with a plan with this other person. Uh, definitely feeling like uh, they want to walk away from something. It also could be um, an ideal situation for some of you because somebody walking away only means there's going to be new space. There's going to be a door open. Somebody's going to speak up or speak out about a situation as well. It also feels like, you know, somebody may be getting suspended at their job um, or there's something going on with suspension Maybe even with your vehicle. I'm not sure what that's about. Some of you keep listening to a same song saying this is our song or this was our song. But some of you are wondering if that song, in fact, that was brought up by your partner. Did that song belong to your partner and someone else? Be careful. For a lot of you, you I definitely feel like you have dealt with an ending to something. You have recently dealt with an ending to something in the month of January. For some of you, this is going to be you finally putting something to rest. 
allowing something to be buried and put away because you no longer want to deal with something or you no longer have to deal with something. Although you may be changing your hair color, your hair style, for you gentlemen, you may be changing um, your facial ex uh, expressions or your facial appearance, meaning if no beard, you're, making it, you're creating a beard. If no mustache, you're creating a mustache. Uh, if clean face, then you're, you're going to put some facial hair on there or vice versa. I also get that a lot of you were dealing with the Hierophant. Now, a lot of you being the Hierophant or your partners being the Hierophant, I should say, um, made you feel like uh, you were lucky to have them. They were handsome. They were smart. They made good money. Um, they looked like they were all that, all that. They looked like the universe truly sent them blessings. The universe truly helped them to develop the person that they've become or made them very, very uh, good-looking and irresistible. But at the same time, the universe was handing you the Ace of Pentacles. With the Ace of Pentacles, there is definitely going to be <clears throat> something here that is going to change, something here that is going to be new, something here that is going to bring something to the forefront, something here that's going to be faced, or you're going to face it face to face. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. That could be your partner. Some of you also may be, with this card, Sagittarius card, the Temperance card, you could be trying to test the waters of something, or you could be testing somebody's fate. Or it feels like you may be testing someone to see what their loyalty is to you. It feels like somebody is breaking all the rules. And that's what I hear. They're breaking all the rules. Like this isn't what we agreed upon. Or this isn't what I believed it to be. Now, and yeah, I did just light a cigarette. But now, um, for, for the person who was breaking all the rules, it's funny. Either somebody either got arrested Somebody was definitely incarcerated. Um, you may know who this person is. It may be because they broke all the rules. But at the same time, I also feel like this person who made some bad choices and decisions is paying for them in one way. And that may be serving time in jail, being on probation or parole, whatever. But at the same time, somebody broke all the rules where a relationship was concerned and that's why they walked away. That's why they decided to leave. That's why they decided to turn their back on a situation. Or maybe you, in fact, decided to turn your back on a situation because, Cancerians, you had enough of something. I don't feel like the glass was all the way full. I think the glass, when you look at it with a half a glass of water, instead of seeing it as half full, you saw it as half empty. I also feel like there is going to be a moment in silence or prayer for you. It feels like some of you are definitely going to your faith, your higher power, to try to get a resolution. Some of you are definitely still waiting for somebody to return. You're looking for them and looking for them. I don't see them coming right at this point. I don't see anybody on the way. If I looked further down the road this way, there's nobody yet coming. Not yet. But I do see that you do believe there could be a new start, a new beginning. I'm also looking up at the face kind of drawn on the totem pole there, the pole behind her. And it, and it seems like with this black cat that you see in the picture, it seems like somebody was definitely sneaking around or trying to bring you bad luck. Or somebody was hoping that something wouldn't work out for you. It also feels like, you know, there's a no sign here because even though the one eyeball, it has a line through it because the eye is halfway closed. But it also feels like, you know, when something is like no swimming and you see that circle with the line through it saying no or don't. It feels like you're being warned, no, don't wait for them. Don't look for them coming around the corner, okay? Be careful with the decisions that you're making now. Some of you are going to be very disappointed in the fact that you're going to give in when this person returns. Some of you don't really believe that you should, but you're going to do it anyway. But at the same time, some of you got to a point where you're very weak 
and, and unable to resist this person. Because being by yourself scares you. Not having a partner, not having somebody to be codependent on, worries you. Or you're playing that role in the relationship and you in fact are codependent. Either you're wanting them to lean on you because you're wanting to feel needed. Or you're expecting them to be responsible for your happiness. That's codependency. Nobody is responsible for your happiness, nor are you responsible for anybody else's. Yes, you can be a people pleaser to a certain degree. Yes, you want to try to make things as easy as possible. But at the same time, you must not risk becoming codependent. Okay, don't fear being alone by yourself and not with this partner because your life will be just fine. Even if they're not in it, it will be fine. You will maintain your strength as the king of cups, male or female. You will be very strong sitting on your throne. You'll be able to make better decisions and choices without this other person influencing you in a toxic way. You're going to find out that you never lost control in the first place. You're going to see that things are definitely going to be getting better. It's going to be getting better. For a lot of lot of these things going on, um, the end result is going to be, it's going to be a celebration of some kind. For some of you, there may be a pregnancy and a marriage. For some of you, it may just be an engagement. For some of you, it may just be you celebrating getting back together. It's going to be very difficult to try to figure out which one that is for you. Um, you may need a personal reading in order to get a very accurate outcome on your situation. I am going to be offering mini reads tonight when you watch this video. They will be for $55, just like I had the special back in December that you guys loved. I figured I'd give it to you one more time. So here we are as the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is your last card, and that's showing that there is definitely a fresh start and a new beginning coming. Question is, is it with your ex, or is it with somebody new? Will you continue to wait for this ex to get out of jail? Will you continue to wait for your ex to come back from the other partner? Will you continue to wait for that argument <clears throat> and that disagreement that you've had to kind of heal over. Either way, you're going to make a decision, Cancerians, in February. And that decision is either going to be to be independent and handle things by yourself and no longer accept the codependency, or you're going to choose to be codependent. So the choice is yours to make, Cancerians. I'm looking forward to what you have to say in the comments below.